Hello, I'm Stefan Link, Assistant Professor of Chemistry at Rice University. We published a perspective article in the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters highlighting our recent progress on characterizing surface plasmons and individual nanoparticles and their assemblies. Surface plasmons are collective excitation of conduction electrons and noble metal nanoparticles and give rise to brilliant colors. The surface plasmon resonances depend heavily on the particle size and shape. More interestingly, as nanoparticles come together, the plasmons in act forming new modes similar to atoms coming together forming molecules. In addition, strong electromagnetic fields around the nanoparticles make it possible to enhance spectroscopic signals that are otherwise weak allowing for photonic applications on the nanoscale. Our group is particularly interested in studying the effect of disorder in linear assemblies of nanoparticles that have been prepared chemically and then assembled. The advantage is that short inner particle distances can be achieved. The coupling strength is a function of distance and therefore increases as the particles get closer together. The disadvantage is, however, that irregularities are introduced because of differences in shape, say, inner particle spacing. The way we go around this and solve this is to do correlated measurements using electron microscopy and optical spectroscopy of the same nanostructure. In this perspective, we discuss why it is necessary to conduct such correlated microscopy studies and give examples for individual nanoparticles, assemblies of only a few nanoparticles, and much larger assemblies containing hundreds of nanoparticles. Each of these structures presents unique challenges for the spectroscopy that needs to be applied. In particular, we discuss dark field scattering, measuring radiative properties of metal nanoparticles, photothermal heterodyne imaging that only measures absorption of these structures and then discuss a broadband extinction method to collect spectra up to 2 micron. I'm Leanne Slaughter, a fourth year graduate student in the Link Lab. Tunability and sensitivity go hand in hand and therefore we need to explore the relationships between the geometries and plasmonic properties of nanoparticles, one nanoparticle or one assembly of nanoparticles at a time. I'm going to demonstrate this with some of the nanostructures we discuss in our article that are the easiest to identify in both electron and optical microscopy. On this sample, we have broad gold nanorods with widths ranging from 80 to 130 nanometers and lengths ranging from 250 to 500 nanometers. This scanning electron microscope image shows a few of the nanorods and you can see that there's quite some variation in their size as well as some slight variations in the shape. Using an index TM grid we've been able to create a map on the sample which allows us to identify this region in scanning electron microscopy and then identify the same region in dark field scattering microscopy which allows us to visualize the scattering of nanoparticles as bright spots against a dark background. Once we have identified the particles that we're interested in characterizing, we can use our nano positioning stage to move the particle so that we collect a spectrum from only that particle. So here are the scattering spectra of individual nanorods in this area. You can see that they all scatter different wavelengths and therefore this kind of single particle correlation is extremely important for understanding how tuning the geometric properties affects their plasmonic properties. I am Wei Xing Chen, a postdoc in Stephen Lin's group. When light illuminates on the nanoparticles, the photon can be either scattered or absorbed by the surface plasmons. The scattered light by the nanoparticles is scattered into all directions and can be measured by the dark field microscope. And the result, scattering spectrum is the most applicable technique to characterize the plasma resonance of nanostructures. On the other hand, photons absorbed by plasma releases through a non radiative process into the heat. It is non trivial to measure the absorption of a surface plasma directly. It is usually performed by the photothermal heterodyne image which in direct measures the change in refraction index of a surrounding media due to the heat generated by the realization of photons absorbed by the plasma. Because the scattering signal scales with the volume square and the association signal scale with the volume, the association measurement is more sensitive for the small nanoparticles. With these techniques, we can characterize the radiative and non-radiative properties of nanostructures in our group. In this prospective article, we have demonstrated the strategic combination of microscope techniques 
which allow us to explore the fundamental principles of a radiative and non-radiative process in these um, surface plasmas.